Hey guys, have you ever wondered which gemstone you should mine? To answer this question, I took the time to test every single gemstone. Ruby, Topaz, Jade, Amethyst, Sapphire, Amber, Jasper and even Opal. We will talk about everything you need for gemstone mining and compare all of the profits, so you know what to mine during the incoming call. This video took way too long to make, so if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to the channel as we're getting closer to YouTube rank and you can be part of the sub 5k gang. Anyways, let's start with the video. In the past, I already made a video about ruby mining. There I explained how much powder you need and how much different it makes to have different amounts of powder. Straight up, I used max powder for these tests, but we will get to my heart of the mountain later on. I don't know how many of you have been playing Skyblock when Crystal Hollows came out, but ever since gemstone mining is changing constantly and it's tough to keep track of everything. Matters change, the gemstone to mine changes, the profit changes, so I will try to show you the state of the art, but I can't promise it will be like this in a few months. Back when Hollows came out first, barely anyone knew about the full potential of it. But if you knew about the strength of gemstone mining and how to fully use it, profits were crazy. Gemstones were worth 8 coins back then, but lobbies only lasted for about 2 hours. Also bob bombs destroyed gemstones permanently and barely anyone had proper routes yet. So you had to know about such a route, look out for an early day lobby, hope for the spot to be not taken yet, set it up, start mining, hope to not get griefed and mine for not even 2 hours before you had to repeat the process. This led to massive inflation and Hypixel reduced the amount of coins you get to 4 coins per gemstone, effectively halving the profits. But they also increased the duration of Trista Hollows lobbies to about 5 hours, so you didn't have to stress out that much and could just mine for longer. After a while they further reduced the amount of coins per gemstone down to 3, which is where gemstone prices are still at to this day. With the lobby duration increased to 5 hours, people also started to make use of one of the most infamous pets in all of Skyblock, the Armadillo. The Armadillo has an energy system. If you spawn it, it charges and if you sit on it and mine blocks, the energy goes down. If it's out of energy, you can't mine any more blocks with it. Well, at least that's how it is by now and how it's planned. Back then, if you looked up or down, you didn't need energy to make the armadillo instant mine blocks. So people used that to their advantage and started something later called structured dillo mining. The idea is to find the sapphire structure spiral or throne and mine all of the gemstones while sitting on an armadillo. I also tried it out when it was meta, but never got used to it. As you can imagine, the toxicity went up by a lot due to it, because you wanted to use such a spot for up to 5 hours, but it wasn't guaranteed you would get even one of those in a lobby. But if you were able to find a structure and not get griefed, you bumped up your rates by a lot compared to manual mining. And suddenly Hypixel changed the meta once more. They increased the lobby days to up to 36, and as one Minecraft day lasts for 20 minutes, that's the same as 12 hours. This was the date of birth for something later being called Routed Armadillo. The idea is as simple as smart. You take the armadillo that's able to insta break gemstones and doesn't lose energy if you sit on it and jump and combine it with the origin of gemstone mining, routes. Such a route had up to 150 waypoints and therefore the preparation of a route took up to one hour. But once you had it set up, you could mine for up to 11 more hours, depending on the age of your lobby when you joined, with an insane amount of profit. The best miners got upwards of 100 mil coins per hour due to my ping and skill I peaked slightly above 70 mil per hour, which was still very good. But well, as all good things come to an end, Hypixel finally decided the end of life for armadillo mining as we knew it when they fixed it, so it always uses energy now. Also they reduced the lobby times by a bit, they only last until someone in their 20s now, so just about 8 to 9 hours until the lobby closes. But gamers wouldn't be gamers if they don't come up with a new solution. For a while hybrid dillo was tested, so mining with an armadillo for as long as possible and once it's out of energy just having it equipped without sitting on it so it can recharge. This turned out to be worse than another method and that's the one we will also be talking about today in full depth, Magma Fields Gemstones. The idea is as simple as smart. Ruby has always been the choice of gemstones back then because routes were created in magma fields so you could make use of the Baal perk made of lava. This buffs all of your stats by 15% while you are inside of magma fields. Most importantly your mining speed, mining fortune and especially pristine. Pristine is the most important perk when it comes to gemstone mining. The higher it is, the better and it scales way better than mining fortune for example. After the dillo was gone and people looked for an alternative, they got the idea why not combine magma fields mining with other gemstones. 
There was only one issue they had to overcome. The bar perk works at the Y level of 63 and lower, but at the same level no other gemstones than Ruby and Topaz will spawn. But due to the experience of multiple years of hollows, as well as websites like Seafoam and the world download of crystal hollows, people were able to figure out veins of normal gemstones that are just slightly above the Y level of 63. Hypixel also made a change which made this possible. Gemstones will always respawn now, even if you use bob bombs or are a bit further away from the gemstones. So by using this type of mining, you will basically have a route which is at Y63. I will link you routes you can use in the description. All of them are public on the mining code discord in the routes sharing channels. Every gemstone has the same price to the NPC, which means the following part is only interesting for you if you aren't game mode text. If you are, you should rethink if you don't want to play a proper game mode the game is made for. If you're playing on a normal profile, you want to sell to the bazaar. Keep in mind prices can change over time. Anyways, let's start with everything you need. We will start with the heart of the mountain. For all of the gemstones, I used the same Heart of the Mountain setup. As per usual, you want to have Hotom 7 and some decent amount of powder. If you struggle getting powder, check out my guide of getting powder quickly. I maxed all of the perks needed for gemstone mining, totaling about 4 mil mithril and 12 mil gemstone powder. Also, I have a ping of about 160 ms. If it's lower, you get more coins. If it's higher, you get less coins per hour. One thing you want to use when mining and have a higher ping is Danka's Skyblock mod and the fixed drill animation reset function. As Hypixel fixed parts of the issue by themselves, it doesn't matter that much these days, but rather having it than missing it I guess. Explaining in detail what exactly it's doing would be too much for this video, but basically it helps you a little bit with your ping issues. Back to the heart of the mountain. The important perks are mining speed, mining fortune, mining speed boost, mining madness, fortunate, professional, mining speed 2 and mining fortune 2. You can also run Skymall, as some of its perks also work in Crystal Hollows. Sadly, the 20% reduced ability cooldown doesn't work anymore. That's something from back in the day. As said before, I was able to max all of the perks, but you can start with about 4 mil mithril and 4 mil gemstone powder. The difference of max powder and less powder is there, but not as huge as you might think. I tested just that difference in my first powder video. Now that we know about the heart of the mountain, let's talk about the gear I used to run all of my tests. For most of the gemstones it has been the same, but there have been two differences throughout the tests. Let's start with a setup that works for most gemstones. The armor of your choice is, as expected, a Jaded Divan's armor with all perfect gems. Something that's often being forgotten about is the artifact of power with all perfect gems, as you get more pristine from it as well as more mining fortune and the higher rarity if all gems are perfect. As for equipments, you want to run the usual Rift Necklace, Ancient Cloak, Black or Guild Splash Belt, and Tensta Vanquished Glowstone Gauntlet, or Recomped and Reforged to Glistening. The setup gets the most mining fortune from equipments. The pet of your choice is a Baal pet with a Quick Claw. As we talked about earlier about it, you want to make use of being in Magma Fields. As a drill, I use the Divan's Drill Reforged to Auspicious. If you are close to a tick threshold, you can also use Heated. By the way, for all of the setup, that's the one I used, you can use less if you want to. Obviously, your coins per hour will be different then. Also, if you remember, I've set the same gear for most of the gemstones. It has been different for Jasper and Opal. The smaller change is with Jasper, so I start with that one. You can only mine Jasper in the Fairy Grotto. Those come in different shapes and sizes and spawn randomly throughout the Crystal Hollows. Due to their randomness, you can never guarantee if it will be within or outside of Magma Fields. In my case, about 50% of the veins have been within and 50% outside of Magma Fields. So I used the rod to swap between Baal and Skather, depending on the height. The Skather also had a Quick Claw equipped. If you're looking for a Fairy Grotto, there's a channel in the mining code discord called Structures Trading. If you select Fairy Grotto, you will have access to a channel in which people sell grottos, for example if they are done with mining. That's also how I got my grotto for the test. In the best case scenario, you want a grotto that's fully within magma fields, but that's very rare. Your best shot is to get one in which you can mine infinitely. I couldn't do so in mine, but we will get to that in a bit. The other gemstone where has been different was Opal. This gemstone can only be mined in the Crimson Isle all the way back in the Blaze Cave. As it's not in Crystal Hollows, Baal isn't an option here. I also equipped the Blaze Pet for testing purposes, but it only buffs mining speed and you lose a bunch of mining fortune from having Blaze instead of a Scather. So Scather was my way to go here. But there's also been another problem. 
See, back in the day you could start a tier 1 slayer quest, when the boss spawned, leave the lobby and effectively your quest bugged out and counted as permanently active. If you then had eaten a gummy bear, no blazes would attack you. The bug is out of the game, so you will be attacked by blazes. I got crumbly as a reforge, so lots of mending, but it wasn't enough to heal against the damage of blazes. So I ended up changing my mining fortune equipment for the vanquished equipment set I'm also using for blaze slayer and healing with a wand of atonement from time to time. With this it was possible to mine opal without dying. Now that we talked about the requirements, let us talk about how the different gemstones turned out profit wise. For all of the gemstones I calculated the price I got by setting fine, flawless and perfect. Keep in mind you can only turn them into perfects if you've got one mil gemstone collection already, but that should be done pretty fast anyways. Also for most of the routes, I did them for the first time, if you spend more time with them and get more used to them, you will probably get a little more profit. Also the prices depend on the bazaar and we have a coal incoming, so you either want to sell your gems as fast as possible or hold them for a while and sell when the prices rise again. I will start with the worst gemstone, which is opal. Not just the experience of mining is awful due to the blazes, but you also get the least amount of coins from it. I ended up with 24.3 mil coins per hour when selling fine, 26.4 mil coins per hour when selling flawless and 28.5 mil coins per hour when selling perfect opal. This is mainly due to the downtime between veins, no ball perk and the lack of mining fortune. Next up in my test there has been magma Field sapphire. I ended up with a profit of 32.3 mil coins per hour from fine, 33 mil coins per hour from flawless and 39.8 mil coins per hour from perfect sapphire. To get perfect you also have to get the crystal from professor robot which you need the robotron parts for. If you buy them off the bazaar you get a profit of 37.8 mil coins per hour from perfect. In the 6th place of my test there was amethyst. The thists spawning in from mining block your hits so you lose a lot of time by just restarting the mining animation. I ended this test with 33.6 million coins per hour from fine, 35.4 million coins per hour from flawless and 39.4 million coins per hour from perfect amethyst. Keep in mind if you want to forge perfect amethyst you have to get the crystal for which you have to buy a jungle key and also complete the parkour which probably sets you down about 2 million coins of profit ending with 37.4 mil coins per hour. Now we get to my favorite gemstone which is ruby. Ever since I did gemstone mining ruby was my gemstone to go. In my opinion it feels the best as it gets to the lowest tick speed. But sadly in terms of profit it only ends up about 5th. Mining ruby on a normal profile also depends a lot on topaz prices as you roughly get one topaz every 3 rubies. From my test I've got 34.2 mil coins per hour from setting fine 35.8 mil coins per hour from selling flawless and about 44.6 million coins per hour from selling perfect gems. The value of perfect gems has to be taken with a grain of salt as you also need a ruby crystal to forge a perfect ruby but you only get those from nucleus runs or very rarely from mining rubies. The next two places in the leaderboard are very close as you have jade and amber here. It depends on the value you take to rank the gemstones. From fine jade I got 32 million coins per hour, flawless adds to 33.1 mil coins per hour and perfect adds to 47 mil coins per hour. As per usual you need the crystal to forge the perfect gems and therefore you need the tool set. Getting one of those takes you about 2 minutes on average so the profit of perfect jade is still about 44 million coins per hour. The values from amber are better for smaller gems but worse for perfects. Fine Amber got me 36.5 million coins per hour, Flawless got me 36.4 million coins per hour and Perfect only 42.6 million coins per hour. This is because the Amber Crystal is way easier to get. Surprisingly Topaz was in second place during my tests but it was also similar close to Jade and Amber. It always depends on bazaar prices. In my case I ended with 41.4 million coins per hour from Fine and Flawless Topaz as well as 43.6 million coins per hour from Perfect Topaz. And lastly, probably to no one's surprise, Jasper takes the lead. As I said earlier, I couldn't mine Jasper infinitely, so I also mined some Topaz and Ruby in the meantime, as 50% of my Grotto was in Magma Fields. If you get the Grotto in which you can mine infinitely and have the same setup as I do, but none of it is in Magma Fields, you should roughly end up with the same amount of coins. I ended the test with 50 million coins per hour from Fine Jasper, 52 million from Flawless Jasper and 68.4 million coins per hour from Perfect Jasper. For Perfect Jasper it's the same as for Perfect Ruby. You only get the crystal from Nucleus runs or this time from killing butterflies or looting treasure chests inside the fairy grotto. But even if you only sell Flawless Jasper it still takes the lead compared to other gemstones. So to end this off Jasper is the best if you find a proper grotto. 
And that's exactly the issue with it, especially during your fiesta. All of the grottos will be taken because it is the best gemstone to mine. So my suggestion to you is you should either try out Magma Fields Jade, Amber or Topaz. But at the end of the day it very much depends on bazaar prices, always keep an eye on those and mine whatever is worth the most. This video took way too long to make, if you watched until this point type Dante Best in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on the upcoming series of how to properly grind on a normal profile. And now have fun grinding and I see you in the next one.